Well, hello everybody and happy early Halloween. This is going to be my final Halloween video before Halloween. I mean, I say that lightly because we all know Halloween is 24 seven here, baby. I can't believe Halloween's already here though. I am, where did September go? Where did October go? How are we here? What is happening? You got me. Confession time. I did not decorate with you guys in this video. I'm so sorry. I had every intention to decorate every single room with you. However, time just got away from me and so I ended up decorating off camera. So instead of decorating with me today, we are doing a good old Halloween apartment tour where I go through every nook and cranny to show you where all I decorated in my apartment. If you missed part one where we actually did decorate together where I decorated my master bathroom, master bedroom, as well as our guest bathroom, check out this video right here. You may have noticed a new addition these little beauties uh they are very grown out you can see they are very grown out however i planned ahead and made them so that way they fade away down here so from a distance no one will know they're gonna know they're not gonna know so as you can see i got spooky spider webs at the tips of my fingers and uh i feel like a glamorous ghoul but let me tell you i am glad i did not decorate with you guys with these on because it was a struggle bus a Especially, especially if something had a god dang sticker on the bottom of it. You know I'm talking about Home Goods and TJ Maxx and Marshalls. You know what I'm talking about. I don't, how do people, how do you guys work with these all the time? I don't, I need help. This is my first time getting acrylics and while I'm having all the ASMR fun I could ever have, uh, I don't, I don't know how to function with these. So what am I showing you guys today? Well things we missed last time we didn't decorate together. We need to go to our front door, our front entryway, our kitchen, dining room, living room, as well as our patio. So I have quite a number of things to show you. So let's go ahead and dive in to first person, 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 what? Let's dive into first person view of my apartment where I go through each room with you guys. Get your onesies on grab a drink and let's go ahead and do this Halloween apartment tour. Let's start at the front entrance and actually let's step outside. Beginning our journey outside the door, we have this adorable trick-or-treater doormat that I got from Marshalls with a tiny pumpkin. Um, we carve pumpkins but there's you can see there's not a whole lot of space to put them so they're in the back by the patio. Then on the door, we just have a wreath that I got from Target a couple years ago. Now let us step inside so I can be your ghost host here. Why are you running? Did you think I was leaving? I'm sorry, I was just stepping outside for a second, sir. Okay. Lock that up so no murderers can get in. So here is this wreath ensemble I came up with. We have the wreath from Target featuring the spiderweb wreath backer, whatever Michael was calling it. And then we have three brooms that I got from Dollar Tree. And I figured these could be three witches having a good time like the Sanderson sisters, or it could be a Harry Potter reference. Also, um, I have the gigantest sore on my tongue. So if I lisp, that is why. So here we are here down below. I didn't change this out at all. It still says Crypt Haunted Crypt. So aside from the door, this has also been added. So I put the little ghost holding a lantern here. I thought it would be cute and a nice entrance to spooky Halloweenness. Then moving over this way, we have my Bath and Body Works globe with a spider web candle, a cute little black and white pumpkin, and then this painting from Lulian. Another angle for your viewing pleasure moving this direction we're swinging by really fast because we've already seen the bathroom but i wanted to show you my ghosty i put it with this haunted mansion gargo candelabra and what are you doing edgar so making our way to the kitchen dining and living room the first thing you'll notice are these adorable banners i put them here as like a nice fun party it's Halloween time, yes, feature. I don't know, I thought they would be really cute. As we enter the kitchen, I have replaced our normal rug here with this spiderweb rug I got from TJ Maxx, I believe, online. 
So probably how it is all year round, but I figured I'd show you. Here is the mug rack I put up. As you can see, I've already rearranged the mugs again. So this is how it is currently. I have this fancy new tea kettle. Um, you can hold your hot water for two hours and you can set your temperature at the degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius, depending on where in the world you are. And I think it's very nice, very fancy. You gotta pour it slowly, but that's kind of like the zen of it. Please sit. Why don't you enjoy a cup of calming jasmine tea? I don't need any calming tea! Then this is where I put that seeing eye gumball machine from Target Dollar Spot or Target Bullseye Playground, whatever you want to call it. And I decided to fill it with that pumpkin filler. I was going to fill it with candy corn, but uh, little did I know that that black part down here is actually all hollow so you would have to fill up this part and this part in order for someone to see what you put inside and i didn't have enough candy corn for that so the pumpkins went in here and then look at this look at this mm, that is some asmr action if i ever did hear it i just focused with my nose so i could show you guys my claws there is going to be a reenactment Grr. Rawr. I always want to keep going like this, like, witches, sisters. I feel like Winifred Sanderson. Thank you for that marvelous introduction. <laughs> Moving this direction. Here we have my ghost soap. It doesn't smell like anything to me. Um, it just smells like regular soap. So the fact that they said toasted marshmallow is a lie. This I got last year. I believe from home goods he is still living and thriving jory has not knocked him off unlike the bat scrubby of last year's incident then over here in the keurig section i put up this little festive ensemble here we have tea but i'll open it because it took me a while to get that lid closed i put a lot of tea bags in there and then over here we have my witch boots from grandin road and as you can see i made a floral arrangement i do think these plumes are a little large for this um but i i don't know where else to put them that's the biggest face i have so if they can look oddly large in this they'll definitely look oddly large in any other vase that i own but i do like how it turned out the little pumpkins from dollar tree with the little black squiggly here you go. Swiggly black sparkly branches from Michaels. And then these plumes are from Crate and Barrel. I think they are beautiful. I love it. Again, a little large and in charge for this vase, but we're gonna go with it. Then we have this Radon mug. This is Halloween with this topper. They don't go together, but uh, the mug it goes with it. It says spooky and actually is on the correct side, which looks better on the mug rack. Look at that like it was meant to be there. Then we have this pumpkin spite Rubio's tea from Trader Joe's. And then we have my spiderweb mug rack to go next to the coffee cup Keurig thing in case we want some coffee. Easy accessible mugs. If the walk over here is just too strenuous, there are mugs also over here. Here is this corner. Nothing changed, nothing changed, nothing. Oh, but look at something's changed over here. So we have this beautiful ghost holding a pumpkin canister I got from Home Goods last year. This I made at a pottery place. I still think it's, <laughs> I'm pretty proud of myself because normally when I paint stuff at pottery places and the paint is streaky, so streaky, so I'm very proud. Here is one of the canisters that I bought this year. And then there is the witch hat one. So what I decided to do since you know, I normally don't need to, but I figured I would separate the wood utensils from the like plastic metal ones. And I feel like it does work really nicely. Here we can see my cute ghost spoonula and then this spatula that I got a couple years ago from Home Goods. I replaced my normal spoon rest, that's a spiderweb one, with this guy. So moving over here, I am now the hand from Adam's family. I need to drink some water. Look at my veins. Okay, gross. So here again is where the other utensil holder, utensil crock ended up backing up so you can see. This is the only fix that I'm so sorry. It looks, it looks a little unkept and disorderly. Let me shine this up for you. This is the dish towel that I decided to put up at the moment. It's the cute ghosties with the plaid. Still don't understand the plaid, but I still love it. Very cute. And I didn't show you guys the best part yet. <gasps> 
What is this? A happy Halloween banner hanging above to greet you to the dining room. I thought that was a pretty fun place to hang it. Uh, it does kind of close off the space a touch, but I think it's adorable and I, I think it's, I think it's great. So let's go ahead and go to the dining room since I brought it up. So here is the dining room. Here is how I would set it up if people were to come over. So we just have some platters on either side. These are from Target. And then here I'll actually show you a place sitting if you were to come to a nice Halloween party with me. Here we have a ghost hand towel that I got from Hogwarts this year. These plates are from Target, the black ones with the bats. The ones behind it are from Home Goods. This year, uh, they are like the apothecary style ones. Then I got this pack of four mugs that are like the stackable mugs. I decided to bring one out as well as a world market cup. So that way, if someone were to come over to eat or drink or both, um, they could have a beverage in here and a hot beverage in here to go with their dinner plate and dessert plate. I don't know, I thought it would be pretty cute. So you can see that's how it is in all the place settings. Moving to the centerpiece, let me move this cup out of the way so you can see a bit better. Here we have this spooky jack-o'-lantern glass canister. I got this last year from Michaels. I believe they brought it back this year. We have a candle from Target and then this full plant from Target this year. Then this is actually kind of my favorite thing ever. I don't know why, it just vibes with my brain really well. Here we have this cake stand platter that I got last year from Target when it was the wonderful collaboration with John, Mr. John. And I am sad they didn't do something similar to that this year, but it's fine. It's fine. I'll get over it. We have my salt and pepper shakers from Home Goods that I think I got three years ago, if I am correct. They're cute little bats. That one's my favorite because he's covering his little face. This one's like blue. I got you, bitch. Then behind these two bats, salt and pepper shakers, we have this cloche with a pumpkin with a swirl. These two things are from Target from a while ago. I believe it was like three or four years ago. It's been a hot minute since these items have existed at Target. And then here is my napkin holder. I got this napkin holder. Um, really, it's a letter holder, but I got it off of Etsy and I think it's beautiful. And I put these napkins in it. Let me grab one so I can show you. See what the napkins look like. I think they're very cute and I do think they fit well with the vibe of the table. Moving to this side, we have these two candles that I got from the Target bullseye section. This guy uh, came out from my bathroom and I decided to bring him out here and I placed something else in the bathroom instead. So this is where this little cute pumpkin jack lantern canister ended up. Then if we scooch up a little bit, here is where this tiered tree from Target bullseye section ended up. I don't really know what to put on this tiered tree, so if you can, if you have an idea, let me know. Then if we change our angle up a little bit, you will notice a adorable ghost bowl full of candy corn. The bowl is from Pottery Barn last year. I believe they brought it back though, in case you are wanting it yourself. Now to the tablecloth and table runner. The table runner is from Home Goods. I got this one last year. And then the tablecloth is the one from Target this year. I love it. The tassels are my favorite part. I think it looks so sophisticated. I am utterly in love with how the dining room table turned out. And don't worry, I'll show everything at night so you can see all the lights shining and all their glimmerly, glimmery glory. Over here, I just have my plants. The only thing really new that I added was this. It's a vintage tray, like a TV tray that you could set dinner on and it has spooky vintage cats. So I guess I'll show you up close. Here's what it looks like up close. Ooh, spooky vintage cats. The leaves are kind of starting to change, but I feel like um, it's been blustery and windy and they're all gonna fall off before they can even change. Moving to the right of the dining room table is where we keep all of our food and stuff like that. So I'll show you how I decorate a top of this Ikea bookshelf. But first I'll show you where the Sanderson sisters are. Sanderson sisters are back in this chair. I believe I had them here last year as well. They just fit so well together on this chair and I think it's adorable, especially next to the witch boots. So here is how I decorated a top of this Ikea bookshelf. I don't really know if I had a theme this year besides just being jack-o'-lanterns, but I tried to make this like a spooky haunted house. So starting on the right side of the shelf, we have these two bird fee candles that are from Target this year. Um, one thing that annoys me though is one of them is matte, one of them is shiny. Did anyone else encounter this when they bought these two bird feet candle holders or was that just something that like I came across? I didn't hear anyone talk about it, but I just want to make sure I asked to see if anyone else ran into this weird conundrum, I suppose you call it. 
Then behind we have this ghost candle that I got last year from Home Goods. It is very large and in charge. Behind that we have my faux eucalyptus. That's from Target. That was in their Halloween threshold section. Then this neon ghost light is a new addition this year. I got this last year. However, I didn't know where to put it, so I'd never used it. And so I'm glad I could have found a spot. That's not English. I'm glad I found a spot to hang it this year because I absolutely love this neon light. It provides so much light in our dining room. It's ridiculous. Then over here, we have a pack of two candles I got from Home Goods. So here's one of them. The other one's to the left. Whenever I show you guys the left side. And then we have one of the spooky trees. So what I tried doing was I tried framing the haunted house from Target with these two spooky velvety trees that I got from Target this year. And I feel like it just helps bring your eye to the center of the focal piece, which is this beautiful haunted house. Oh, oh my gosh, I didn't turn it on yet. Let me turn on all the little windows. So here's what the haunted house looks like all lit up. I think it just brings it to a whole other level. I love that they made the lights look like flickering candles. It just gives it a whole other spooky ambiance. So I decided to add these little pumpkins that are normally for crafting. And then I had this um, flower that dried out and it looks kind of like fall leaves. So I thought that would be adorable to put here. And I just think, I don't know. I thought it was a really cute idea. Let me know if you think so, but I thought it was. And then I had a random pumpkin from that pumpkin filler that I showed you in that gumball machine. So I just put one here. I know it just fit it. I had to, I had to. So in front of our spooky house, we have these bat lights that I got. I believe it was two years ago from Target. I really like them. I do wish they kind of flickered in more Halloween colors. They do every color of the rainbow. So that's my only qualm with it is sometimes blue is just not the vibe and I just want orange and red and yellow, but it's fine. At least I flicker all the way through and don't just focus on one not spooky color, I suppose. And then this table runner I got last year from Home Goods, and it glows in the dark. I don't know if it glows that well. I haven't really seen it glow in the dark, but it's cute nonetheless. Moving on to the left side of the haunted house, we have another spooky tree. Like I said, to frame the haunted house, make it the focal point. Then here is the other candle that came with a pack of two from Home Goods. This adorable ghost candle is from Etsy. Here is this witch hat incense burner, light up lantern. I don't really know what you want to call it, but I put a, a little tiny tea light inside to make it flicker. Very last on this little cabinet bookshelf thing. I have this jack-o'-lantern canister. This one I got from Michael's actually, but it is from the brand, what is it? Dang it, <laughs> it doesn't say on the bottom. It is made very cheaply though, so just hands up on that. So now that we've done my dining room, let's go and do, hmm, should we do the living room or the patio? Let's go ahead and just get the patio out of the way and then we'll do the living room. Then real quick, I ended up getting this bat throw from Target. I put it on my cat's cat tree. He is too big for the topper. So I thought adding a blanket would make it more squishy. So this is the current blanket he has on his little cat tree. So stepping outside. Here is what our patio looks like. Uh, it's a little bit messy, but if you've ever tried sweeping up wet leaves, it's like fighting yourself. You will lose. So if you can look at this banister back here, it's actually planning on decorating it and putting lights around it and maybe some sort of fun foliage. However, um, the lights that I had that I was planning to use, these bros right here, evil glare, evil glare at you, um, they aren't working and I don't know why. They've only spent their time inside, they're purple. And I had more purple lights that also didn't work. So maybe don't buy lights from Target. I'm just saying, they seem to only last a year and I don't know why. So I'm trying not to get my slippers wet, but it, 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 it might happen. I guess it's probably gonna happen. Um, let me change my shoes. <laughs> so as you exit our apartment here to the left, you have these really cute flowers I got from Trader Joe's. I plan on putting one of these in a planter, in that jack lantern planter. However, I'm currently using it for other decor purposes, which we'll be seeing here in a second by the fireplace. Here is this planter I got this year from Joann's. Oh my gosh, water tripping on me from above. Um, I'm gonna try to make this fast, so apologies if it's a little bit of a whirlwind out here. This wet weather vane thing I got, uh, I believe last year, I'm forgetting where. I don't recommend it anyways. It's very cheapy, but it looks nice. It does look nice. Here is my favorite thing in the whole world. It is this old Salem 
Dead and Breakfast sign that I got last year from Home Goods. I love it. I still hope I can find the Headless Horseman version of this. I would die. So nothing has really changed over here. The only thing I added back outside was this really cool lantern I got last year from Target. It lights up. A little skeleton holding a lantern. Beautiful. So moving over here. Here is where I place our pumpkins for right now. Uh, we might put them out on Halloween day out on the front. Um, but as you saw, there's not a, little, a whole lot of space to actually store them out there with the walkway and the stairs and everything. But if we zoom in, this is my pumpkin. This is my boyfriend's pumpkin. Mine is a spooky vampire. And then this is my boyfriend's. If you're a big fan of Viking stuff, Thor, all that jazz. His is supposed to be, you know, Thor's hammer. And he put in a very fun light in his pumpkin, which I am surprised that it's still lit. Uh, it's been like that for three days. So that light's pretty impressive. Up above, you'll see some of these string lights. I got these last year at Target. Uh, one of the strand strands did burn out. We were able to fix it. Again, I don't know if I'd recommend lights from Target now. I'm kind of disappointed in them. But these are really cute lantern lights. So I am glad that I was able to reuse them again this year. And I just hung them in a different way from last year. So here is an up close shot of the lights. Over here we have the cute little boo pot that I got this year from TJ Maxx. I have this dog that I think they brought back this year at Target, but I got it two years ago from Target and then my poor plant. I was a bad plant mom to you. I am so sorry. All right, heading back inside now that I have been thoroughly rained on. Back inside from the patio, here we have the living room. Edgar Bear. Hello! We have an Edgar on the chair, kind of covering up some of the pillows, but behind him you will see a haunted house pillow and then a ghost pillow. Both of those are from Home Goods. The haunted house one is from last year and then the ghost one is from this year. Behind it is a spooky haunted house blanket that I got this year from Home Goods. I adore it so much. Moving on to the pillows on the couch. Here are where my other two ghost pillows ended up. And then I have these black ones I got last year, I believe from Macy's is where I got these. And then we have a spooky haunted house pillow here as well. This is from Home Goods this year, as well as the ghosts. And then we have this jack-o'-lantern blanket from Target. Then moving over here, we stop and we notice a very large and in charge jack-o'-lantern. This one is from Pottery Barn. It is large. Can you see? the size of this thing. If you need something to hug this pillow, come on over and hug this pillow. You will feel much better about your life after that. Up here is a little witch hat that I ended up getting from The Beheaded. I think it is very cute and I love how the red matches the red on my couches. Then moving on to the final pillow arrangement, we have the ones on this love seat. The two over here are from Target last year from the John Durian collab. We have the spooky skeleton. That's this year from Target as well as this trick or treat pillow from Target. Then we have this Tis Near Halloween pillow that I got from Wax Moon Shop. Then over here is this basket that I got from Home Goods this year with the spider webs. And then I ended up fitting two blankets in here. So that's where the witch one ended up. And then I ended up getting this one back here. It's kind of hard to see, but it has bats on it. Then here we evil glare at Wayfair <laughs> because this was a design Toscano thing. And uh, this is what it's supposed to look like. Very vampiric, very spooky. I love it, but it's missing pieces. So hopefully I'll be able to get replacement pieces so I can actually build this thing. And then hopefully it'll go here <laughs> where my boyfriend's Bowflex is. And then that could be like a spooky vampiric reading corner. I don't know. And before, ooh, ha, mm -mm, not gonna show the fireplace yet. Not yet, my friends. Uh, we're gonna move on to some extra things that I have here. So we have this pumpkin rug. This thing is very large. Um, I got it this year from TJ Maxx. And then on the coffee table, you saw this in my apartment tour. So that is where this ended up from Marshalls. This keeps all of our coasters, remotes, etc. Here we have our spooky candle from Bath and Body Works with the Bath and Body Works ghost candle sleeve. And then here is where I put this beaded table runner. I thought it looked fantastic on my coffin coffee table. So this is where I put this just to add a little bit of jack-o'-lantern flair. Now I will show you 
the fireplace. So on the TV, I have currently playing a Main Street USA Halloween playlist, which flips through different Halloween images of the Magic Kingdom. Makes me both sad and happy at the same time. Moving to the top of the fireplace, Again, keeping with the jack-o'-lantern theme, mainly trying to make it orange, white, and black this year. So here we have this pumpkin. I got this this year from Home Goods. This is an antique store find. I believe it's from the 80s or 90s based off how the jack-o'-lantern looks. It's a little witch boot. Then I have these two candles that are ravens or crows, I guess I should say, and they are Framing my Happy Halloween sign. I got this here from Home Goods. This was a last minute purchase, but I saw it and I just loved it so much I had to get it. And I think it works perfectly with all of my fireplace elements. It just tied it all together and it's the perfect height because we don't have a whole lot of height between the TV and the top of the mantle. Then all around we have these ghost lights. I got this here from Target. They are pretty cheap but I think the expression on the ghost is what makes it. So let me see if I can show you their little expression. Look at that. Look how cute his little face is. He has rosy cheeks, which are kind of hard to see right now, but he has rosy cheeks. So cute. My qualm with this though, is they don't have a timer on the lights. And then also one of them came broken. So one of these little ghosts was off of its little light behind it. So I don't know what's up with Target lately, but get it together. I liked you, stop being cheapo, Target, naughty naughty. So moving past this crow candle, we have our Nintendo Switch. Then I have my cute little kitty with his very nice boots. I got this from Michael's two years ago. And then we move to Halloween Town. This is what this jack -lantern reminds me of is Halloween Town come to life in my home. It's this cute pumpkin with a witch hat and it glows. And it's from Home Goods this year. Oh, sorry, TJ Maxx. I found this one at TJ Maxx. And then I decided to keep these bats up from last year. I think they help frame this little section really well because it's kind of an awkward little area. And I think it does a really good job framing this empty space. And then we'll just keep with the mantle for right now and then we'll move over here. But on the mantle, we also have this spider web mantle scarf. I got it this year from, from Home Goods, and I think it just adds a nice little elegant touch to the mantle. I am slightly afraid of both this and the mantle being so close to the fireplace because we actually are using the fireplace this year, which is why we have logs. And I'll show at nighttime what this whole thing looks like with the fire lit up inside. Oh my gosh, you guys, you're gonna have a great old time seeing that. Mwah. Very good very good but yeah i don't know it makes me nervous i've touched back here many times to see how hot it is it doesn't get hot at all but i don't know so in front of the mantle scarf i decided to put both these two garlands i don't know i thought it looked weird with just one so i added this bat one up top and for some reason i thought it looked better you may disagree i also may disagree with myself but i think it looks cute overall and doesn't distract and take away from the fact you can see the spider webs here i think it works let me know what do you think so both of these garlands are from Home Goods last year. I think they are really cute and I do think they work together. I still wish this was not like a burlapy string, but that's fine. I still like it. It's not very obvious as I pointed out, which can you notice it now? Yeah, I'm sure you can. <laughs> we have my Pottery Barn candy dish, which I think is just so large that I think these little logs fit perfectly inside. As you can see. And then to the right of the fireplace, we have my stack jack lantern planters I got from Target. And then inside, I put another one of those faux uh, fern. Are they ferns? What is? What are you? Faux plants that I got from Target. So here is my little fireplace setup. In the background, you can see this Martha Stewart Halloween tree I got last year, as well as this Grandin Road cornhole game. If you want to play it with me, let me know. I have yet to find anyone who wants to play cornhole with me. Also, it's been very rainy in Oregon, so maybe not a good time, but I want to play with somebody. Play cornhole with me, please. So moving on to the very final part of this 2021 Halloween home tour is this shelf over here. I love decorating it for Halloween and Christmas, so let me show you how I decorated it this year. I believe it's very similar to last year with a couple of new additions. I kept this more spooky than Halloween, but we have my candle. It's normally here as well as my Kurt Cobain, uh, Jesus looking drawing that I got from Lillian. And then up here we have a new addition, which is this 
Target Skull candle holder. Moving down to the next one, we have my Halloween countdown I got from Michaels two years ago. Another one of these little ghost candles that I talked about earlier from Etsy. And then I have this candle that says trick or treat on one side and then the other side has the happy Halloween with a ghost. I don't know which side I like better. I feel like I like the other side better because there's too much of the similar color scheme here otherwise. Um, but let me know which, one, which side you prefer better. But this is from Shop Disney this year. Moving down, on top of the Xbox, I have this Trick or Treat Ghost. I got this last year from Michaels. So nothing really changed too much about this shelf. I ended up bringing over this candelabra from the dining room table and setting it here. And then this jack lanterns normally here. It's supposed to be a wax warmer, but the glass part of it broke, so it doesn't heat up the wax enough to actually melt it. So I use it as a nightlight, so that's not really new. That's typically there. This is the only thing that I added that's new to this shelf. So this features... It's a glass jar that I got from Michaels, and then inside are some cute little jack-o'-lantern bells. Then on this bottom shelf, I have my ghost doily that's normally here. This vampire is also normally here. I switched sides and put him here, so that way I could fit this really cute candle pumpkin that has bats flying all up it. I don't know. I thought it looked good having the bats look like they're flying out of the coffin. Do you see my vision? I thought that was just like a fun nifty idea. Let me know. If you all think that was pretty nifty of me. <laughs> so now that you've seen what everything looks like during the day, let me show you what this looks like at night. guys enjoyed seeing how I decorated my apartment this year for Halloween. If you want to see how I decorated it last year for Halloween, go ahead and check out this video here. I also have a video where I decorated my Halloween tree. As you could see in our video, we did not have a Halloween tree this year. I just didn't really feel like putting one up. Don't know why. So if you would like to see how I decorate my Halloween tree normally, check out last year's video. I'll pop it here as well, where you can get some more Halloween decorating goodness. I'm curious, what was your favorite room that I decorated this year? Let me know. I am becoming a witch Rachel with these nails. <laughs> oh, is that what a witch says? No. I'm gonna go ahead and go. If you have any questions for Miss Witch Rachel, let me know and I will answer them as soon as I can. I've been a little bit neglectful in my comment section. I apologize. I have read all of them. I just haven't responded. I have been a very busy ghoul. Very busy. So I will respond to everybody's comments in my last couple of videos. I just give me some time. I'm a little overwhelmed. But when Halloween's over, everything will be better. So thank you very much for watching this Halloween season, going Halloween to quarantine with me, looking at all my haul videos, as well as decorating and touring my apartment. I really appreciate all your support. It really means the world to me and you guys really did support me a lot this year and it, I am just blown away. So thank you so much to anyone new or old. I love you oh so much.
with that, I wish you a very happy and safe Halloween. I personally am not doing anything. However, I'm not mad about that. As John Mulaney says, doing nothing as an adult is just the best. So I'm taking John Mulaney's advice here and not doing much of anything on Halloween. But let me know your right Halloween plans. Are you doing anything fun and exciting? Please let me know down below. Hope you guys are having an awesome yet spooky week and I will see you in my next video. Bye. 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 Bye.